idiots are invincible. The foolproof row method to handle them, solve problems. And, enjoy the process. By Dr. Angelos Rodafinos. Part 1, A Little Theory. I want to move to theory. Everything works in theory. John Cash. Are you stressed? If yes, join the club. Stress can be useful or detrimental. Many studies have shown, however, that excessive stress is harmful to just about anyone. The extent of the adverse effects of stress depends on several factors, such as genes, general physical condition, diet, and lifestyle, etc. Do not despair, though, because there are several cognitive and behavioral stress management techniques and methods to help you deal with stress and reduce its undesirable effects. In this part, we will answer the following questions. What is stress? What or who creates stress? Is stress generated from the outside or the inside? If you feel pressure and stress, what senses allow you to experience these feelings? Can you see stress? Hear it? Catch it and kick it away? Smell it? Taste it and season it? Are some people born stressed? Is stress necessary? Chapter 1 Stress What is that? Stress is when you wake up screaming and you realize, you haven't fallen asleep yet. Anonymous Let us start with a short test. Rate your current mood, using a Likert scale from 1 equals excellent to 5 equals lousy. If you scored 1 or 2, feel free to go and read another book. The rest of you must stay and study the material carefully. Ready? Here we go. Ask yourself, why am I not feeling good slash great? What is missing? What would help me feel better, now and eventually? What is more important, ask the late Wayne Dyer. A. How much money we have? B. How much knowledge we have? Or. C. How we feel? Most people agree that feeling good, C, is more important than either money or knowledge outright. If so, where are the classes at school that teach us how to communicate, deal with conflict, build relationships, regulate our emotions, manage stress? Although most people complain about their stress, they have not taken a minute to find out what it is or spent some time to learn how to deal with it? Let us do that now. Please take a minute to write down your answer to the question. What is stress? When you are ready, Compare your definition with the one below. Stress is the response of the body to any event that threatens, or is perceived to threaten, our well-being, and exceeds our ability to cope with it, Lazarus and Folkman, 1984. Any event, pleasant or unpleasant, that requires adjustment may cause a range of physiological and psychological responses. Hence, stress is unavoidable, normal, and even necessary. Excessive stress is the problem. Now, list three to four common sources of stress in your life. One. Two. Three. Four. Common responses include. Relationships with others. Demands and time pressure. Work and finances. Traffic congestion. Health concerns, etc. Yet a large part of the stress we experience exists only in the eyes of the beholder. This premise is supported by the fact that humans can trigger the stress or fight or flight response simply by thought, i.e., without a real, objective, external threat. Nightmares are a helpful example, an imaginary stimulus, can cause psychological and physical responses. Excessive, frequent, and long-lasting stress has been associated with a variety of ailments. Personality. According to Aaron Beck, anxious individuals often have unrealistic fears, tend to overrate the possibility of something bad happening to them, focus on potential negative scenarios, and worry about future events. They also overestimate the significance of an event, underestimate their ability to deal with events, and underrate or misuse social support. Are these types of thought patterns nurtured and acquired or are they the result of biologically determined personality traits that predispose people to think and act in a certain way? The answer is both. 
certain individuals are genetically privileged and can endure more stress. The personality traits believed to buffer stress include explanatory style, self-efficacy, psychological hardiness, locus of control, sensation-seeking, autonomic nervous system responses, and type A behavior. The next question then is, what are the effects of stress? What can happen to me? The effects of stress are both psychological and physical. The short answer is that excessive, frequent, and long-lasting stress has been associated with a variety of ailments, behavioral and psychological problems. Okay, but can we change? You might ask. You can't stop the birds of worry from flying over your head, but you can keep them from building their nest in your hair. Martin Luther King The good news is that, with some training, people can change their thought patterns, build better coping skills, and change their responses and the effects of stress. This is our subject for tomorrow. As we will see, although we cannot, and should not, get rid of all negative emotions, we can reduce a, the frequency, b, the intensity, and c, the duration of such emotions. Make sure you memorize these three variables. I also recommended you watch, How to Make Stress Your Friend, TED Talk, 14 Minutes. Exercise. We all know people who rarely get stressed and others who get stressed by everything or are constantly stressed. Which category do you belong in? Can you think of certain periods or situations during which you surprised yourself with your responses?